Well, earlier this week, Indiana stores reopened their doors to half capacity, and Illinois store owners are also working through a partial reopening. Taylor Johnson spoke with businesses on both sides of the state line about how their work has changed. Store owners in both Indiana and Illinois tell me that if anything, COVID-19 has taught them new ways to do business. Willow Gift and Home in Terre Haute is back to business at capacity. It was just sorting through, what are we going to do? Well, how are we going to do this safely? Over in Illinois, the farmer's wife is still partially closed with curbside service. It's going to be a lot of work, I feel like, to to get our feet back on the ground. While closed, both owners say they were still bringing money in with the help of social media. Truly, that was a lifeline to keep, um, you know, some of the bills be being paid. That has been phenomenal. It's something that I learned through this and something that I should definitely keep up. Wolf and Gay are happy to serve their customers again, but they're still concerned about the future. But if it shuts down again, it shuts down again. So um, I guess there is some concern for me for the fall and winter. There's so many things that are uncertain and I think once we get all of that lined out, then, then I'll feel more comfortable moving forward. Right now, Illinois business owners can only offer curbside service to their customers. The day that they're able to open completely is still in question. In Terre Haute with Local News That Matters, Taylor Johnson, WAWV.